Okay. Okay. From Southern California. Yeah. It's a great day. No, it's hot. In the desert. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> and there's a hot lady oh. sitting. I was going to use a 50s word like chick. Broad. Okay. No, no, I never use broad. Oh. Chick. Okay. I anyway. Mind, I don't mind being a cool broad. That's a Sinatra yeah, well, I like to, you know, yeah. I like to, yeah, go yeah, I'm, on, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, you know, you ruined my introduction, <laughs> I'm okay? so sorry, start over, start over. I've been over. practicing all day, I know. okay, and, but Chi-Chi's ruining it too. Rehearsing <laughs> all day, okay, here we go again. Okay, what's going on? Yeah. Okay, from Southern California, from a hot desert day, it's the Suzanne Summers Show, <laughs> and she's going to make it even hotter, oh. <laughs> or here's the cool chick. Cool Suzanne thing. Summers. <laughs> Am I lucky? I have. So no hate mail for abusing the word. Chip, I okay? have what nobody has. I have a live-in announcer. Well, not. A, I'm just not. You're just, everything. I'm everything. You're everything. Okay. You're everything. Yeah. Yeah. I. Um, it's hot. It's hot today. That's why I chose to wear black today. But, um, Except know, I turned it looks that, good in my dressing room. Yeah, you know we have a, a big air conditioner at the back of the room, and uh -huh. then on either side of Suzanne okay, yeah. is like a a uh, like a, a lar like a four foot fan thingy. thingy. Yeah, thingy. It's a fan like on I'm both sides. I'm letting it blow up my and it's legs. Blow here. up her yeah. skirt, yeah. and she told me yeah. she really likes it. I do. No kidding. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you're all here today, and. Um, this is what living in the desert is. There are days like this where it's over 100 degrees. And what you do, desert life is uh, you get up early. And as soon as, the, that's like 7 o'clock. If you want to take a walk, you go out at 7 o'clock and it's beautiful. Uh, I mean, really, like paradise. And then uh, you come in and you stay in most of the day. And at the end of the day, and you'll see behind me in a while, the sun will go down. That's when everybody comes out. We're like... Um, moles. We, we live in our mole holes all day here in the summer. Normally we leave in the summer and we go to Malibu, but this year because we sold our house, we need to uh, pack. And uh, Actually, no, our house burned down. And our house burned down. Our oh, house that. burned down. Oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Well, the first time and then the second time. Yeah. Threat and... Anyway, um, uh, anyway, hello everybody. It doesn't look hot. It looks spectacular. Great. Yeah. It looks Great. Like Dylan here with me. Great. Your hair is blowing. No. The misters are on. Mm. Just so thank you if you're hot because you're creating a beautiful picture. Oh right. You know, with the with the blowing hair. I mean, that could be a Vogue cover. Uh yeah. Right. Have I ever been on the cover of Vogue? I don't think no. so. No. How come? Uh, you're, they, only, they only started using non supermodels in the last few years. Mm. It was always a supermodel thing, and then they started realizing hey, you know, actors and actresses sell, sell magazines, yeah. and you don't have to pay them. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> you know, my, my girlfriend, Beverly Johnson, was the first black supermodel on the cover of Vogue. Uh, she's uh, And she still looks like a supermodel. Oh, gosh, she's so, so gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous, yeah. Yeah. And she's a beautiful lady. Yeah, I love her. I love her, and she's a good mother, and she's all things woman. Women are fantastic. We have well, a makeup show today. What? Not all women, okay? Not uh, all women. No, not all women. Not all women. Women, we, women We've run be, into some duds. Yeah, but the women that we know, we love. Right, exactly. And I just hang around with all of you. And I was talking about all of you on a show this morning. I do so many shows before I do this show every day. I do podcasts. There are a jillion new podcasts, people who have their own niche audiences. And I like to reach all audiences. And this audience was in the 30-year-old range. Ah, man, they've got gut problems in the 30-year-old. And then Caroline was saying, and so do the teenagers. So it's really across the board. And all she wanted to know about was the 30-day Gut Renew Challenge. And um, I really enjoyed talking to her, but um, she, she wanted to know about that. And she wanted to know about um, chemicals and toxic free, uh, organic uh, skin care, hair care, makeup. And that's what we're talking about today. Okay, Clean so. Clean makeup. Like, ma how about lipstick? I'm wearing red lipstick today. I rarely, rarely wear it. 
I've got a uh, garnet on today and then I put some uh, berry pop over it. It's um, what a peace of mind I get that I know I'm not putting lead on my lips. Lead, think of all the lipstick we've worn all our lives and all that lead that we've taken in doing this and then add to it the old houses we've lived in with the lead pipes. Here's what lead does. And all those people that, you know, we described as, why don't you get the lead out of your ass? <laughs> <laughs> um, here's what lead does. The body, the brain, and the liver don't know what to do with lead. Because when we were, uh, you know, amoebas, um, that, that wasn't part of the, the paradigm. And so now, with all this chemical exposure and lead exposure, so the brain, who has no emotion, but kind of tries to do the right thing in the body, and the liver, which has no emotion, but tries to do the right thing in the body, goes, you know, the liver says, I can't use it. I, I, don't, have, I don't have anything left. My, I'm groaning. I'm trying so hard to get rid of all the chemicals and the, and the toxins and everything. And the brain goes, I don't know what to do with it. And then they both get together and go, you know what we can do with lead? Let's store it in the bones. Who's going to know? We'll just store it in the bones. So our bones get filled with all this lead from licking our lips and the lead in our water pipes and things. And then we get to be older, my age, a little younger than my age, a little older than my age, and we have a fall. This is what I really worried about, and then I thought, I haven't had any lead when I fell. A fall, bones break, like my hip fractured and I broke my neck and my spine. I told you this too. I, to, to boredom, I know that. But what happens is that lead, when you break a bone, re gets released into the bloodstream. And it doesn't know where to go either, so you know where it goes? To the brain, to the brain. And when you get lead in your brain, it's not good. So it may seem like a little thing to have lipstick that has no lead in it, it's not a little thing. You put on lipstick every day, and you put it on several times a day, don't you? I do. You do. <laughs> well, because I kiss you. <laughs> I, by the way, uh -huh. I'm excited to show everyone oh. my new nail color. Oh, oh okay. yeah. The reveal will happen. This is, shortly. I don't know when we're going to do it. Is shortly. it today? Today? No, today. Shortly. Today? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he had his pedicure yesterday. Yeah. My girl, Al. That was my fourth, no, my third pedicure yeah, you know, you're into in it. my life. You're into it. I've Laurie, had, if you're watching, stay yeah, tuned because yeah. we'll see your pedicure and my pedicure. The, and the first time I had a pedicure yeah. was in the 60s in Tokyo. Oh. And the reason I used, to, I used to get a pedicure and a manicure every day, but it, the only reason I did it Why, was Al? because while you're getting that done, there was a young lady giving me a neck and shoulder oh, massage. I'd pay anything. And for I, that. I, I used to. I was working 12, 14 hours a day, so it was great. Okay. You know, I, I when I used to. Oh, go then to, there was a doctor giving everybody vitamin B12 shots in to Tokyo? stay awake in Tokyo. Well, yeah. you and I take vitamin B. Do you know we take vitamin B12 every morning and every night? And we used to take it in injections, but they kind of hurt. And my great anti-aging doctor if you're in Los Angeles not that I want I don't want to be able to get an appointment with him but Dr. Michael Gallitzer is my uh, anti-aging doctor I love him and Bruce and Caroline's is Dr. Allen these are great doctors they're in the know in the know and um, uh, my anti-aging doctor what, uh, I lost my train of thought for a minute what was I talking about yeah I don't think he spent any time on your memory lead okay lead. Not having lead with you. yeah 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 so, so anyway um, right <laughs> no, you know what it is what we because we had a, a session with him a few days ago uh -huh. right yeah I don't think he did anything vis-a-vis -vis your memory okay <laughs> short-term memory well you know yeah I, uh, I I hate when I forget things, don't you all? I, I just forgot something. Yeah, I'm sorry. What did you say? No, I'm just kidding. No, I know. It was not that you forgot. It was that Alan interjected an entertaining story in the middle of what you were saying. And then I lost my train of thought. So it'll come back. Yeah. It always comes back. Yeah, you know, it was, it, was, it was not that you just like dropped out and forgot. Alan interjected a story. Thank you, darling. Yeah. You yeah. This is why, from the day I met you, I decided I wanted you to be who Bruce married. I'm no dummy. 
I remember, I remember saying to him, that Caroline girl. And you were talking about B12 shots. And B, and that's right. Yeah. B12. So oh, shot oh, oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. So, um, this better be good. Okay. No, really. Okay. Um, we used to take the shots, the injections, but they really sting and they really hurt. But I know how good it is for you. And especially I'm Irish and Irish people have low homocysteine. And the way to rectify low homocysteine is vitamin B12. And so I was taking the shots for a number of reasons to get my homocysteine up. And then, um, Dr. Gallitzer, my anti-aging doctor, who I love, said, well, the same thing that you inject, I can give it to you orally. It doesn't taste very good, but you can take it. So what I give you every morning and every night is a dropper full of vitamin B12. And uh, because I have my tequila every night, the greatest way to protect your liver is to, after, if you drink alcohol, to put um, vitamin uh, B12. So that's, thank you for bringing me back to that. I knew I had a point for saying all that. Okay, okay. Also, I just want to remind you because I know you're hot, but you look so beautiful with oh. this fan and the oh. weather and everything. Oh, so thank you. I just want to remind everyone the promo thank you. code is Beauty25. Yes. Tonight, Hold that up. And that's 25% off at SuzanneSummers.com on the entire makeup category. So Suzanne's cosmetics all organic and clean, and she's going to tell you about them. Um, but Beauty25, which is fitting because you look awfully pretty. Well, thank you. Well, I'm wearing darker lipstick than I usually wear, but I, because I had this darker top, I uh, put garnet. Okay, do you want to hold that up in front? Lead-free uh, with um, uh, uh, shea butter and and all all the um, coconut, aloe, aloe coconut oil. all this great thing. And on top of the garnet, you'll show them that, Alan. I'll put this, this on you later. You know, it's not showing up really well. All right, but here's the, then I put on top of it very pop. So hold the two together and show them both okay. together. Oh, I see. So I, uh, I don't look good with like bright red. Although if I got like a candy apple red, and it's really hard and organic to get intense colors because that's when you got to go into the bad stuff. Okay, but you can make I'm actually it. showing it against your chest and I think it's oh. showing rather oh. nicely. Well, thank you. You're okay. So darling. Let me try it on Facebook. Now. You're so darling. I know. Do you know I took a nap with Al today? He he took a nap. I rested, and uh, he had a dream. I don't know what he was dreaming about. And he said, "Are you coming?" <laughs> that was it. I don't know. He. I asked him about it after. He goes, "I don't know." No, I, I actually know. woke myself up saying yeah. that. Are you coming? I thought, okay. I, I wherever you go, I will follow. I will follow. There's a song there, isn't there? Wherever you go. Uh, I'm sure. Where you lead, I will follow. Yes, so Sean, Sean Daly yeah. says, Suzanne Summers, what is that smoke behind you? And then he says, love you. Have you been to Canada? Canada. Well, I, I can answer that question. Yeah, you can answer both. Okay. First of all, the house is not on fire. It's like <laughs> a misting time. system time, that yeah. we in the desert yeah. use. It brings the temperature down by 20 degrees, which is great. Okay. Has Suzanne ever been to Canada? Absolutely. Uh, I can't count the number of times she's been there. Both Hundreds. To Vancouver. Yeah, well, I don't, yeah, maybe. Hundreds. Maybe going back I, to the 60s. I know yeah. everyone in your family so That's right. well. I love your family. I was so born much. in Toronto at the yeah. corner of uh, Spadina, not the corner, but in the neighborhood of Spadina and College. Which is not the ritziest area. Well, it probably is now. Probably is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And across the street on, Sp on the southwest corner, there was uh, Brock's Billiards, where I grew up, the Crescent Grill. And you were like, you hung out at the pool. The pool hall, yeah. You were a bum. Yeah, Crescent Grill, yeah. Yeah. where I'd go to get, get a quickie something to eat, and the El Macombo. The El Macombo was this incredible nightclub. Oh, I hope it's still like there. It. I love and, nightclubs. And uh, uh, try to remember, the Rolling Stones would turn up and just surprise everybody. No. And do a show no, at night. No, you're yeah. kidding. Yeah, I, Mick Jagger. I, pardon, Mick Jagger, oh the Rolling God. Stones. It was like you never told that, me that. That's what kind of place this was. Okay? Well, I know when you first started bringing me to Toronto, um, and I noticed this in Minneapolis. It's really sad what's happening in Minneapolis right now because uh, all the years we worked at Evine, on the nights when we didn't have to work, Alan and I would drive into Minneapolis because 
There was great music. And I've come to this conclusion that when um, people live in freezing cold environments, it, like for many, many months, as you do in Toronto or Minneapolis, uh, there are a lot of garage bands. And there's nothing, I started in a garage band with Roy and the Starliners. And um, we would go to this corner club, I don't remember the name of it, in Minneapolis, and we have a great dinner, and then these great jazz players would come and do and nothing better than a guy who just does nothing but play his horn. And and in Toronto, when Alan first started taking me to Toronto on, I think it was Bloor Street, you took me to, there was club after club after club with incredible jazz music, which I just love live music so much. And then when we would go to New York with your friend Sasha, and Sasha is a musician, and we would go to Greenwich Village and club after club of, of incredible music. And I think it's all about the cold weather that young musicians grow up in, and, and to uh, it's too cold to go out and play, uh, you know, whatever that is they play. They would meet in one another's garages and they'd make music, and that's how they became these great musicians. So before I go on I'm in a storytelling mood tonight, I want to tell you about our makeup so that you can think about it. I love our, our flawless finish. Let me see what color this is. This looks like my color. Uh, She's talking about the foundation, if you guys are following along. Yeah. Okay. Here's natural sand, and here is the dark bronze. Okay. You know what I love about the flawless finish is it's good for you makeup. Uh, and I did it last night. I rarely do it, but I did it last night. After we had this great dinner, we had such a great dinner last night that I made for Alan and I, that I'm making the exact same dinner tonight. It was that good, and I'll tell you in a little while what it was. So after dinner, and we had done um, a show at, at a one o'clock, and then I did another couple of podcasts, and after dinner I was really tired. We went up to our room, and I got into bed thinking, I'm going to get up and I'll wash my face and I'll do the whole thing. And I didn't. I woke up this morning, this like your skanky girlfriend with the makeup down here and everything. But the peace of mind I felt that I had flawless finish on, which is good for you makeup. There's nothing in there that's bad for you. And so it wasn't like chemicals sat on my face all night. It just, you should have washed it off. It's not the best thing not to wash it off. I don't recommend it. But if you're dating and you're, uh, it's a guy that you really like, you might put this on and then when you wake up, he thinks, she looks great in the morning. <laughs> uh, and you said to me this morning, I said, I got to go wash my face. And you said to me, I love the way you look this yeah, morning. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It looks like something happened. Yeah. You're something so good happened. You're so darling. <laughs> anyway, that's the flawless finish. And it comes in uh, four colors. Oops, sorry. Uh, honey, medium. And you know yourself what will work. Um, a porcelain light, that's really light, so that's too light for me. So if you're lighter than me, that's the one for you. Then we have natural sand, I can wear natural sand. And then there's the um, bronze dark. But this is the one I wear, and I know I'm Irish and I have light skin, but I live in Southern California and I like to have uh, a sun-kissed kind of look all the time, and so I do that. The next thing I do, and this is uh, the secret to the success of my marriage. Where is it? Well, I can hardly one? wait. I thought yeah. I knew the answer to that. Because uh, I'm so wonderful. Uh, well, you are wonderful. You keep telling me I'm wonderful. So you I thought, are. Okay, I guess I'm wonderful. Okay, here's the answer. I make great ribs. So, yeah. And great hot dogs. When I get up in the morning and I wash my face the night before, you know what I do before I get back into bed with Alan? I take the perfect finish concealer. This, if you don't buy anything else, this, light medium, and I take this, and this is how I highlight. And you see what I'm doing? We're not really doing a tutorial tonight, but you gotta light here because when you wake up in the morning, you're all red here. I don't know what that is. And you highlight, you put it like that. This, I want to like, Keep this it's so it's so important to me okay so after you do that then you might want to use our multi stick and like do some blush this is awesome you can put it on your shoulders if you want like you can put it on here I can't see what I'm doing but 
maybe I'm doing something nice. You can put it across your cheeks. You can do so many things with it. And then we've got our different blushes. We've got our caramelized peach blush. Which I like is so that. Great. I like that one. You do. And then we have our antique rose blush. And then we have our coral crush. Oh, that's a good color. Coral crush is a good color. And then we have our oh berry pop. That's a good color too. Berry oh yeah, pop. you yeah. you wear that a lot. I do. And then yeah, you guys, if you guys look on the website, we do have color swatches on the honey website. Honey glow. I know it's hard to see you with these colors. Honey glow. I'm just telling so you what they are. Away. Yeah. So the concealer comes in light, medium, or dark, and I use both. If I've got some dark spots, I cover it with light. If I want to, um, like on my hands, cover some. Those icky spots that come with age. There's like, I love everything about aging, but dark spots. Ew. Okay, and then we've got all our different powders. We've got our Desert Shimmer Bronzing Powder. I have that here. I brought it around here. And then we have our Medium Dark Press Powder, which I usually use that because I use the uh, Dark Bronze uh, uh, Flawless Finish. And then this is the Light which I use over my uh, highlighter here. There's a reason I, I use everything here. And then all these different beautiful lipsticks, the Berry Pop, the, the Caramelized Peach, the Garnet, the, all, all these different colors. And you can, and, and they don't dry out your lips and they uh, make your lips, do they make them kissable? Kissable, out? absolutely. Yeah. And if you so, rubbed it uh, even in your shoulder, I you know be kissing your shoulder kiss too shoulder, yeah. and if you're up no never mind so caroline how many items do we have in our cosmetic uh, departments approximately in the cosmetics department oh my goodness i would have to count quickly um okay well you I, i'd like to dozen, probably i would say maybe 24. okay so uh if there are 24 It'd be interesting to know. I mean, some people might want to buy everything because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I wouldn't know what to choose. But if I could afford it, I would buy everything. Can I give you the names of the lipstick and you'll see them online from start to finish. There's Honey Glow. There's uh, Antique Rose. I know you can't see it. There's Garnet. There's Caramelized Peach and there's um, Antique Rose again. We've got two antique roses here and berry pop. They're they're just beautiful colors and so Gavin good on, for it, you makeup. Yeah, Gavin on Instagram said Al's a freak. Yes, I am, but I'm Suzanne's freak. I love him. Okay. I love him, Gavin. Okay. I'm not wandering the streets. No, okay. No. Yeah. And here's another one. This He's is on loyal and kind and Facebook. Uh, this woman, Julie uh, Heller Veron, said, I, "I think you knew my dad." Yep, Stan. I knew him. Uh, the El Macombo just got completely renovated, she said. Plus, and here's a little secret that most people in Canada know, but outside of Canada, they don't know it. Margaret Trudeau, Pierre Trudeau's wife, had a tryst with Mick Jagger in the El Macombo. Okay? Inside for Canadian info. information. Thanks for the info. Yeah. Margaret um was kind of a wild one well she was i think in her early 20s when they got she married. was too young to be a first lady she didn't get it at all and i remember that awful scene where she and her husband were having a fight and they're walking up the stairs to the japanese prime minister and she was no it was to the, the f word to the emperor oh the f word yeah. to her husband yeah, and I, followed by you i nice. know but you know what mm. that was kind of refreshing you know as a canadian you like it when uh, our personalities sort of break out of the, the mold. <laughs> you mean from the land and do of do something nice. right? Yeah, you and know when we used to work when we used to work in um, uh, Minnesota uh, at Evine, and then it was uh, Shop NBC and it was Shop HQ, and it had so many names. So it had so many. When you can't remember the name of the company you work for, you, it's time to leave. But they used to call it the Land of Nice, and people from Minneapolis are so nice. That's why it's so strange to see the violence going on in the streets there because all I heard in the TV studio at Evine and all the other names that was under in all the years I was there was no problem. Whatever you'd ask anybody, no problem. In Hollywood, if you ask 
this guy to do that. He goes, that that's not in my it's union. Another union. Yeah, yeah, not in my union. Well, you have people from Minnesota writing and saying that the jazz clubs are open. They're they are? a great time. Oh, God, I'm so glad to hear that because yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons I, I, I don't like flying anymore, but I liked flying to uh, Minneapolis because on the nights we had off, we would go downtown and we would just love it, love it. And the food was good. And yeah, the they, serve, nice. they serve little boy food. Little, yeah, he likes French fries. Yeah. In fact, he, also, Sue Ann Breen said, Suzanne, I just lost 40 pounds and I am using your gut renew. Has helped a tremendous amount. Wow. wow. Sue Ann. Now, we don't sell this as, a, so as a weight loss program, but think about it. If you get rid of all the yeah, stuff, sludge. as Suzanne called sludge, yeah. in your gut, mm -hmm. uh, you automatically you lose weight and your stomach gets a little flatter. My stomach is flatter than it's been in a long time. You now, look I've been so doing great. It, I've been doing it for a year. Pardon? You look so great. I do. I, do. Honest, I look fabulous. Honestly, yeah. honestly <laughs> in the morning, he gets up and he sleeps in a t-shirt, and and but he takes his t-shirt off and... I always like open one eye and look at him, and I think, I married a hunk. He's so beautiful. <laughs> he's going to be 85 soon, and he's, he looks, honestly, you look 45, 50. Wow. Really, you look beautiful. Wow. But you know what? He works out every day. Yeah, and, I do. And you got to do something every day. You got to. And uh, this year, with my physical therapy, doing it every other day, I've always done something. I did. And I will return to yoga every other day for 19 years. I really, really, really miss yoga. And uh, but my physical therapist is moving me into yoga moves, and I'm so happy to be there now. It's so great. I, I've been doing down dog for like the last three weeks. Down dog. Oh, that's amazing. You know, down the re. You know, you're right, Caroline. The reason it is amazing is that I'm coming from a place where I have a broken neck. And the fact that I can now do down dog without any negative effects is like triumphant for me. That like, and the high heels, man. Those and, are two big Suzanne Summers marquee items. Yep, yep. Heels and yoga. And I say to my your back and my my uh, physical therapist understands. I said to him from the very first day. I said my goal is to get back into my four and a half to five inch. Manolo Blahniks. He said, we'll get you there. And when I go out at night, I wear my Manolo Blahniks. I do better in the four and a half than the five. The five is a, the five is too high for any of us, really. Five inches. But four and yeah. a half is handleable for all of us. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Hey, if you guys are new to Suzanne's uh, cosmetics line, it is organic. She uses uh, no pegs, no parabens, no artificial colors, no artificial fragrance. The products are made with minerals and beautiful things like uh, coconut, uh, cocoa butter and cocoa oils and aloe and shea butter. And you won't find any petroleum or glue or lead or things that, shockingly, they still put in conventional um, cosmetics. They banned those ingredients in the food supply, but the FDA did not create those same bands for makeup. But as Suzanne's taught us, when it goes on your skin, it ends up in your bloodstream. So she's developed this beautiful line of makeup that you won't feel like you're doing, you know, getting something that's natural and not doing what the what the department store stuff does. It's really just a spectacular product, and we hope you can jump in. It's Beauty25 is the promo code. Everything in the category is 25% off, and it's at SuzanneSummers.com. And what I did not mention in all the makeup is our mascara. This is mascara that doesn't have glue in it. Glue! Glue! That's why it's so hard to get your mascara off the night, because you're, you're using your makeup remover to get off glue. We don't have glue. We don't have glue. Do I need to say that? But gosh, why they put glue yeah, in our mess? You, you get used to it being a little silky. It goes on silkier, yeah. and then you build it. But it's and the silky you know, is that, like that glue kind of makes it. You, you get those spider eyes too. If you put and too and then it gets kind of stuff. gunky, kind of gunky lashes, and um, I don't know what. We all grew up the same way, thinking, well, if they're selling it, it must be okay. And I now realize, no, if they're selling it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's okay. I want to tell you that everything in front of you tonight is okay. It's going to be okay. What do you got, Alex? Alex's well, going to I do just, something bad, I can tell. No, no, I can no, feel no. it. I can feel it. No, no, no. I just, you, you, yeah. you left your yoga mat. <laughs>
<laughs> and I thought, uh, yeah, maybe and, but it's a cute should, color, right? It's a beautiful color. Yeah, matches. Do you? It's not an accident. Do you notice it matches the, the furniture I outside? I know. I do. So I don't know what to do with this, but I think that. It could be interesting. We should auction this off. All know? right, there you go. Why don't you do that, Al? I don't know how to how do are you? That. Yeah, that's the problem. To, yeah, I don't know how See, to do, you do these things to Caroline because Caroline can no, figure it, everything it, out. That's probably something. Good illegal. luck, Caroline. Yeah. But this is Suzanne Summers, a yoga mat, and maybe it's an NFT, non fungible token. Oh. The uh, wow. the the yoga NFT. mat that that the Suzanne Summers NFT. actually NFT. used. I know about wow. NFTs. I know. That's a good idea. Well, I have some I'm good ideas. I'm the same Mr. Christie's. I have some good okay. ideas. Did you, did you hear about the person today who bought a piece of invisible art for $18,000? What, what is that? The first, the first, <laughs> what is the first that? sale I was aware of what is that? was someone sold digital art oh. at Christie's for $69 million. Now, people say, yeah, but anybody get it, you know, if you understand blockchain technology, okay, which sounds like a medical, something medical, it's right. not. Right. It's how you actually become the first person to own that thing, and you own it, and everybody else. If you make it's like owning the whatever, Mona Lisa, yeah. and then they make copies of the Mona Lisa, but the copies are, are worth nothing. Right. But the guy who owns the Mona Lisa yeah. owns something. Yeah, exactly. That's a good idea. Well, Christie's are calling you, me about uh, this. Okay. Carrie Gates Kibby said your lipsticks are lightweight, silky, and moisturizing, and I also use the multi stick as lipstick. It's also beautiful. Oh, Carrie, that, you know what? That's a great idea to use the multi-stick as lipstick. That's a great yeah. idea. Lips, eyes, cheeks on yeah. that so what you use better yeah. pop on your lips? I do. But also, there's another thing I didn't mention, which is the loose powder. Oh, I love and loose powder. <laughs> the loose powder, you know, you shake it, and then you do this, and then you do that. And, and we get a little brush here. You know, I realize. What? What do you realize? I'm like full service, right? Oh God, I you're so even, great. I can. I even do you're your so, hair sometimes. He does. Flat iron. He does. Okay, but I, what I haven't graduated, <laughs> what I haven't graduated to, is doing your makeup. If I get to do your makeup, I'm head to toe with you. That's not going to happen. Okay, head to toe. I do my own makeup. I know. Right. I know. Yeah, I know where allows, the I know where the flaws are. Makeup artists to do a makeup. Ever. Well, I would like to, but I. No, but they always paint another face on your at, face. At seventy four, yeah. you know where the good parts are and you know where the bad parts are, and I can't trust that somebody who doesn't know me that well. And every time you turn know that. your hair or your makeup over. It's no, a the la no, the last. Um, well, when you turned your hair over the day before we got married, oh, we were more safer and 60 minutes was waiting oh. in the living room to interview you. I didn't, I, I just and didn't know emerged, anything. You emerged brown? I went to the. I, this, this was the first year I wasn't of. part the, of this, by the way. I no, had nothing to do no. With it. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have gotten married. Okay? No, we would have. We would have. Yeah. The. Um, I, you have to understand. Three's company, I got hired to be Chrissy Snow, and it took off in a way that I, could, I still can't believe. And suddenly, when there are only three networks, ABC, NBC, and CBS, our show was the number one show of all television shows in the country, number one, and my demographics were number one. I, could, I, I, I was like speechless all the time. I couldn't believe it. I was just, just I, all I ever wanted to be was a weather girl, and um, so now I'm getting married. But 60 Minutes called with Morley Safer when he used to be on, and we'd like to come because Farrah Fawcett had left Charlie's Angels, and they had dubbed me the new queen of the whatever, whatever queenship Farrah had. They're now giving to me, and but I had to go get my hair colored because I'm getting married tomorrow. But okay, 60 minutes can come to our house, and I'll try to be home in time. And I, I, I don't have any professional hair or makeup people, and because I'm I'm really green, I don't know anything. And the woman who I don't know to this day, I don't remember her name. She said, "Your blonde is a little brassy. I want to put some dark tones in." I went, "Okay." And when she took the towel off after drying it, I wasn't blonde anymore. I was brown, brown. Uh, and yeah, I looked that, at, that was some day. Oh, I looked in the mirror, but I had to go home because 60 minutes, 60 minutes. 
was in my living room with Morley Safer. So I come home and I don't go into, I see them sitting there, but I don't go in. I go into the bathroom and I wash my hair thinking maybe I can wash this brown out. Now my hair looks awful, 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 awful. And I do this interview with Morley Safer and I've got brown hair. And then the next day I get married and I've got brown hair. And I have a dress that I, to this day, can't believe that I bought this wedding dress. Hey, how about what you what you got for me? Uh, awful, awful. A, a Every choice I made for our wedding it was, was wrong, except for we the don't man have I one married. wedding picture. I don't put any of them. Right. It's like not one wedding picture, no, no video, no. nothing. It was like it never I, happened. When we move into our new house, it was terrible. This coming year, we're going to get married again, and I'm going to do it right this time. I've already dreamt about the dress I want Leslie to design for me and what I want her to design for you. And I'm gonna do it right this time because I didn't do it right the first time. Caroline did it right. She did, she, her dress was the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Leslie designed it for, it was so beautiful. I still love that dress. Uh, you, I think you could get into it again and I think you should wear it again because it doesn't look like a wedding dress. It's just the most beautiful gown I've ever seen. So uh, Sue Morris said, yeah. You look stunning. Thank you, Sue. Uh, how, how do you feel about Suzanne? <laughs> Sue, thank you. <laughs> and Sue Morris is a babe. So let me tell you what I'm making you for dinner tonight. I love, you may not know this, Caroline, but I'm from San Francisco. And this is a staple in San Francisco. I love the trolley sole. And it's in season. And so I had... I bought the trolley sole yesterday. We had it for dinner last night. And I do it exactly the way I do chicken piccata, but I don't use capers with the sole. And then I did some, one potato cut into uh, hand cut fries in coconut oil. One potato for the two of us was plenty. And it was so good with three different vegetables that I bought more today. And we're having the exact same dinner tonight, Alan. Yep. Because it was it great. Was and great. Alan said, I could eat more, so I got you an extra piece. Great. Okay. I do know this about you, and you made me your petrolli sole, and it's delicious. It's, yeah. It's sweet. It's different from Dover sole. It's sweet, and every bite you go, mmm, mmm. By the way, we have to start eating all that uh, wild caught salmon from Alaska. I know. I, I, you know, I didn't realize I it was. I loved it that night. We all had it. I don't love salmon. Well, I don't I, love salmon, but I'll eat it. I it's, but, I don't hate it anymore. But there, are, you know, there's the, so the thing is that salmon, the, the quality of that salmon was not as good as you think it is. Oh, it's frozen. Yeah, she said it's that. Frozen. It's frozen. She said that. Salmon. I like the sauce. I like I like the ginger, garlic, honey, soy yeah, sauce. Yeah, you, you you like it better fresh. Okay. But the petroleum okay, soul can't Then I have to miss. stop this because this, I'm on a subscription no. service. And a box of oh, no, salmon <laughs> arrives no. every, I don't know, oh, month. No, week. But, but you can call and cancel. Yeah, yeah. I will. Yeah. That's yeah. like that. I just posted your, your wedding picture in the Facebook thread. <laughs> it's awful. And you don't have brown hair. It's just not. Blonde. As, yeah, it's not blonde. And, uh, and, but, and, and you have quite a bit of blue eyeshadow on, oh, which was. I didn't do it. Of the time. I didn't know. And I never wore blue like eyeshadow. A very groovy 1970s dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Every time I look at pictures from that day, I think, what was I thinking? That, you know what, I wasn't thinking. I was overwhelmed. I don't know how to describe what it feels like to come from complete obscurity to absolute national prominence. And I. I couldn't grasp it. I didn't understand it. Years, years later, I realized that show hit a chord, but I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. I we, just wanted to marry Alan Hamill. We have, I did that. Thank you. We, we have our first guests at the wedding we're going to have. Okay. Who? Our dear, dear, dear friends, Wendy and Randy. Oh. And I just heard from Wendy, and oh, she said, I love you "Can so Randy much. and I come to your wedding?" Yes. Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Wendy. I, I, I'm not just BSing. You are already on the list. I, I, I am thinking about this wedding. I want this in our new house. And yeah. our new house is like the perfect house for it. So as soon as I get the date, I'm going to give it to you. And I want you to put it on your calendar. And yes, you and Randy. I'm oh. just going to remind you that it would be better for you not to talk about this on Facebook Live. 
Why? Why? Because I know how many friends you have. And your, your little intimate family only wedding could get up to large numbers very quickly, or you might hurt some feelings. No, no, we don't mind hurting feelings. <laughs> Alan yeah. doesn't mind hurting feelings. You do not like hurting feelings. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> no, I just want to do this. It's it is a great marriage, and I want to do it right. Um, okay, Wendy, you're you're in, you're on the list, Wendy, for sure, for sure. And so are Mary and Al. We love Mary and Al. God, we love Mary and Al so much. Thank you for introducing us. We've met such great people down here. You should move here, Wendy. Well, not in the summer. It's awful. It's awful. No, but she, if she moves here, Randy has to move here, too. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Wendy, maybe yep. it'll be a double wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a shit to server here. <laughs> That's funny. Think what think how complicated a double wedding would be, okay? So we can't do it. No, Wendy, we can't do it. Okay. It would be... I'll give you another wedding in our new house. It would house, be amazingly be complicated. I, I want this wedding for me because I want to do it right It would turn us. out like our first wedding, like our only wedding. It would yeah. turn out terrible like that did. Yeah. Even you made soup, okay? You had 80 guests. You made soup. And the, the we had to have a... What do they call them? Those people that come and serve food. Caterers. Uh, pardon? Caterers. Caterers. We had a caterer. They and wrecked she, my soup. And she decided to d double double the volume. She added water, water to it. To my soup. It was terrible. Oh, wow. When I make soup, like when Caroline makes soup, wow. it's you cook it down and you, everything is about reduction and that's how you make a great soup. Oh, my well, God. Well, I... I, 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 I is saying double wedding, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no. Yeah. You're coming to our wedding. I'll give you a wedding at our house, for sure. You know... Anybody else asking any questions or having anything to say? Or do you want to know anything about makeup? Well, it's toxic-free makeup. It's clean. It's good for you makeup. Good for you. Good for you. So, you know... You go out and have your date and drink your tequila and come home and don't wash your face and... Go to bed all and wake up all skanky, and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Chris Fruit thinks I should wear um, my wedding dress to your wedding. I think but so you too. Can't wear a wedding dress to someone else's wedding. You know what, Caroline? I'm so cool with that. It's such a beautiful dress, and it would be such a great triumph for Leslie. Wear it. I, you're. It's tragic that your wedding dress, so beautiful, it's only been worn once. I need you to wear it again. I well, my thirty. Our 30-year anniversary is this is this September, so we were thinking about um, you know doing something for our anniversary. Oh, I love that! It's a big one. Are yeah. we invited? Oh, uh, it's it will probably be a trip somewhere. So. Oh. Huh. Yeah, we were we were thinking uh, that we would go somewhere, for, but I'm not sure now because we have a, a business thing on the books for September that. I'm not in charge of oh. the oh. dates on it. Oh. Neither are you. So oh. we'll see. Oh so that my sister Maria said the concealer is the best ever. Thank you, Maria. It is. It is. It's it's um it's my uh, insecurity. I get up doesn't matter what time I get up to pee in the middle of the night, I put on my concealer here so that when I wake up Alan doesn't look at me and I'm all red right here. What is that? I don't know. It's, you know, I like you don't care. I, I like to accompany you when you, you wake up in the middle of the night. He does. When I get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, he automatically gets up and waits and holds my hand, and then the cat follows. Oh, yeah, to I've guard got, you. I've got the cat yeah. and Alan walking me to the toilet. Well, in the I, middle I think of the, night. I, the, so the, reason, the reason I started walking into the bathroom yeah. is because uh, one night you fell asleep <laughs> sitting. I did. I sitting did. there. Well, that's when I was in the midst of my and surgery. And I thought all you have to do yeah. is um, fall down one way or another. No. No. And so I'm there to keep you awake. I love that. Okay. I love that. My life with you is just amazing. I know. I know. I know. It's just wonderful. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> it is. It's it great. Is. It's great. We tell each other that all day yep. long. It's so beautiful. It is. Love is all that. Love and health is all there is. Um, okay. Yeah, it, truly. Okay. I don't know what this is here. What? No, sorry. Do you have any advice for hot flashes? Yeah. Yeah. Move out. <laughs> no, I do. She said. I do. Uh, Patty, 
May What's I her name? Patty Medina Kelby Kelb, Kelb said, uh, what did she say? Uh, I lost it here. Let me teach. Oh, here it is. Do you have any advice for hot flashes? I'm 55 years old and they still come and go. So, Patty, uh, they come and go and they're never going to go away until you uh, have um, lab work done, blood, blood and urine tests, with a qualified uh, physician. I highly recommend you go to Life Extension Foundation and take their, um, uh, uh, have them send you the requisite to fill out so you can give to your doctor and then and when your doctor gets the lab work, then he's, he can send it to Life Extension. They can interpret your decline. What you're experiencing, the way, the reason that you are having hot, hot flashes and I'm not, and I'm older than you, I'm like, what, 25 years older than you, is because my hormones are completely balanced. When your hormones are balanced, you don't have the seven dwarfs, itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up. So the fact that you're having hot flashes means that all your hormone ratios are off. And I, I always like to think of this as the body uh, has a language. And your body talks to you all the time with this language. And one of the languages is hot flashes. You know what the body's telling you? You're missing something. You need something because you didn't, when you were young, have hot flashes. So why do you have them now? That's because you don't have any more what you used to have back when you didn't have hot flashes. So that sh kind of shows that you're going to need some replacement. Aging is about worn out parts. And we decline our worn out parts are hormonally, nutritionally, minerally, and there are other areas. So I highly recommend you read my book. I'm too young for this. I wrote it for the 50 year olds who think they're too young for a hormone replacement. You're not. The great thing is to get the lab work done, see where your levels are. If you're not imbalanced, then you gotta look at something else. But if you are, then you know where to go. And I, I suggest that women and men start having lab work done long before they have symptoms so that when you start having symptoms like hot flashes, um, you can compare where your levels are here to where they were back then and go, Oh, they were here then and now they're here and they're much lower. Uh, it's all fixable and it's fixable without drugs. And I highly recommend you read my book. I don't care about selling a book. Just read it. I've spent so much time on that book. I'm too young for this. Okay? Oh, it's a great book. Such a good book. Yeah. 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 So Terry Schmidt Waltz said, so what, what are Al, Suzanne, and Caroline's Al, favorite? Al, pardon? Oh, oh, sorry. Is it possible for you to just hold them up? The Instagram people Together, would like you to hold and up, and I will colors, take one at a time, right. and I will tell you what they are. Okay. This one he's holding up right now is um, very nice honey shoulder. glow. Honey glow. So honey glow is the lightest shade that Suzanne has. It's yeah. like a barely there quad, pinky quad. Okay. The next one. This is for Instagram, right? Yeah. The next one is Antique Rose. They both, they both want to see you. Yeah. Antique Rose. And Antique Rose is like muted, more nudie, mauve-ish. You know what? It's great showing it against your shoulder. Oh. Yeah. And, and Alan, if you hold them um, near one another, then we can see the difference too. That's always helpful when you're buying lipsticks. Okay. Okay. Does that work? Yep, here they are. <laughs> Did you know you'd be a lipstick model? Okay. Well, then I, the next one. I'm a pedicure model too. That's oh, we've got to show you that. Alan's toes. Okay. The next one is Garnet, which I have on tonight with Berry Pop. And these are the two right here. This one and that one. Garnet and Berry Pop. Yeah. I like Berry Pop. Yeah. It's like, I like it. Whoops. He'll okay. show it to you in a minute. Yeah. I'm just, uh, okay, here we go. Berry Pop, that one's my favorite. I'm, I'm more olive toned, yeah. and I, I find it has a little more, well, has a little more berry tone in it, which looks good on my skin. But also, you look good in antique rose. I do not. Because of your. Yeah, Suzanne, Suzanne looks good in the, the more peachy or coral yeah. 
colors I that do. have more orange tone, and I look better in okay. the pink tones. And like then a little warmer tone, and I'm a little cooler tone. Caramelized peach. We're kind of low on caramelized peach right now. When you sell organic, you run out of things because you do. Do remember tonight. Which one is this? This is caramelized peach. Okay. I love that color. I wear that a lot. Let me put a little well, on. I'm putting it on your lips right now. <laughs> uh, and do remember the flawless finished makeup, all the different colors. I wear dark bronze. I know I'm Irish and white skin, but it looks good on me. Okay. Oh, it feels good. It's got all that coconut shea butter in there. It's so great. And then do remember our mascara that has no glue in it. Do I even need to say that? It has no glue in it. It's got the powders, the different... It's, I just feel like it's so important to wear makeup that's not going to harm you. This is not right. going to harm you at all. And, at it all. May, and it may be doing good for And our you. organic skin care, hair care, yeah. uh, um, color cosmetics, our household cleaning products are all good for you products that won't harm you. I don't want to be harmed anymore. I think the reason I had cancer years ago is that I was exposed to a lot of chemicals. I don't, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. So we're kind of... And, and also, guys, if you, um, some of you are asking about color samples, I know it's hard to buy makeup online. It is. But we have a complete 30-day return policy. Yeah. If you don't like it, just call us up. If it's not the right color for you, you need a different color, mm -hmm. we'll send you a new color. I mean, we know it's hard for you to find the right color. Um, like this, and we know that you may need to swap it out that first time and get a different color, but we'll help you. And but, once, uh, but also, once isn't you've it, tried our lipstick and you don't like it, you send it back. We have to throw it out, but we don't care. We think it's worth it. So no, no, I, I use it. All the returns, I, <laughs> I use it. Yeah. But if, don't we uh, don't we have like the real colors on the website? Yeah. Well, it's it's but it's still. And, what are you gonna do? Put your you lips like next to, to it. You like to yeah. Touch it and feel yeah. it with makeup. Yeah. What man? So nope. we've come to the end of our show. I always love it. I want you all to have a wonderful weekend. Al and I are going to go down to the kitchen. I'm going to make him this great Petrali Soul dinner in lemon and butter and uh, garlic and olive oil and three vegetables. And I am making him also um, uh, fries cooked in coconut oil. It's going to be a great dinner, Al. Mm. And we're staying home tomorrow night and the next night because we, we want to. We just want to be home. That's right. I love you all. I love that you come. I love, love, love that we have this hour together three times a week. Oh, they're dying to see Alan's toes. Just pop oh, up the toes oh, you come go. show but the you know toes. What? I, in order to do that, I have to bring up a stool from downstairs. Downstairs? Uh, so I, no, no, no. Get the little table in front of uh, me right now between the two chairs. Okay. Bring the little table up here. Put it right here. Like this table. Right if you move the makeup, we can see through the table. We yeah. can usually see Oh, Alan's you know what? Toes. Sit in my chair, Alan. Some, some, some people are saying no toes. <laughs> no toes. Here, Alan, sit Good on my chair. My daughter, okay, just a minute. Yesterday, and she was laughing. Yes, you guys were sending her foot pictures. <laughs> I know, and I thought I was sending them to you, but anyway. Okay, here comes so, Alan's okay. toes. So, here they oh, come. Zeta's sending me foot pictures. I know. It was actually me <laughs> okay. sending. Okay. All right. Can they see through the glass table Alan's toes? You have to move this thing. Okay. I don't know how you see. can sit with that thing. Okay. I don't, let me see. If you turn me this way. Okay. Okay. And here's one foot. Whoops. We just lost. No. Can you see this, no. Caroline? No. So. no. Can't you put it under the table? Here, I can see it right here. Oh, can you see his toes? Can you see? Table. Can you see that? Okay. It's poppy. No, it's tangerine. It's tangerine. Tangerine. <laughs> can you see his toes? <laughs> Almost. Oh, you're just oh, off. He's you're wrecking just the off. whole display. <laughs> he's just going to swipe all the makeup off the table. I know. Tangerine. Oh I love god. tangerine. Oh my god. I didn't have tinsel on. Oh, and I've used it. pool. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just trying to like. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. Can you see? Oh, okay, we'll mix all the lipstick together, together oh, wow. and see what, it, what it. comes out of it. Oh, but anyway, this is tangerine. Oh, Holy. <laughs>
all the foot freaks out there are going, wow. Happy now. Freeze frame. Okay. Yeah. Oh my okay. God. Can, can I? Can I? I will. Can I help you with these things? Okay. Just close them. Up. And I'll show my toes because I've got uh, happy now. Okay. You've got tangible. I've got That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a fabulous weekend. We are back on Monday at 5 p.m. Oh, hold it. I'm. I have. I'm the camera guy too. Okay. I'm not just the pedicure Here, go, model. Go. Go. Oh my God. And then you gotta pick up the lipstick on the floor. We just made a whole mess here. I know. But you know it was what? Like it. That was funny. All right. But here's my toes. Here's my shoe, which is kind of cool. Can you see my toes down there, El? Uh. Can you see Al? Uh, I, I, I cannot. Can't but let me like, do this. Yeah. I can see your knees. Can't quite see your toes yet. See the toes? Just uh, lift your leg up you know, with just, yeah, you know you without uh, you know without doing you know what. Whoa. Almost. Okay, that almost went viral. No, I can't okay. do this. That's okay. just wrong. No, no, it's not wrong. No, no I'm put like your foot up. doing Sharon Stone here. No, no, that's not Sharon Stone. Whoops, oh. what happened? Oh, there we go. You see? <laughs> Whoa. Yes, yes, okay. So okay. he is Tangerine. I have Coral Poppy. We had our, our pedicures yesterday. Good night, everybody. I love you dearly. I'll see you on Monday.